Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Color Projects. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the inside of these. These are catalytic converters off of the 2006 Jeep Commander that we have. As you can see with this one, uh, you can't quite see all the way through it because of the fact that there are screens uh, inside of it. This one is the reason why we had to change the catalytic converters because there are no screens inside of them. The screens inside of this are the exotic metals uh, that thieves are after when they're trying to steal catalytic converters. There are multiple screens in sequence inside of here. Those uh, carry the exotic metals uh, in the screens and those screens are used to uh, take the exhaust gases that pass into the catalytic converter, uh, superheat them to the point where they uh, cook the emissions off of them, come out as burned exhaust emissions versus uh, unburned exhaust emissions, which are what they're trying to regulate by doing smog systems. So in this episode, we're gonna take the broken one, uh, we're gonna cut it open and uh, take a look inside of it. As you can see here, there's uh, double walled uh, piping and the reason for that is because there's insulation in and around this that I'm gonna show you, but we're gonna cut it open and take a look. This is it opened up. Um, as you can see, it doesn't quite look like what you would expect it inside. Uh, generally, a catalytic converter made after um, 2009, uh, this wall would continue all the way across and there would be insulation uh, fitted around the catalytic converter like a jacket. And then inside of it, right around here and here, is where you would have the screens that are um, blown out on this one. Um, the double walled piping actually ends here and why they've shortened up this is so that they could attach the screen mesh along uh, this side and this side. That's why there's a secondary pipe inside of it. But California compliant ones, this wall will continue all the way across and there will actually be insulation in between it. Um, that's part of the reason why California compliant uh, catalytic converters are sometimes double, even triple the price of a, of a catalytic converter outside of California. Um, this one is obviously no good and basically it was a muffler at this point. This one is still good because you can see the mesh is still in place on both ends. Um, and this is actually what's doing the work of the catalytic converter to um, burn off the exhaust emissions. The reason why uh, this catalytic converter um, doesn't have that second interior wall all the way through it with the insulation is because this car is from 2006. The law went into effect in 2009 that changed it to where uh, catalytic converters in California had to be California compliant catalytic converters. Uh, this one predates that. That's why you're not seeing the um, interior insulation on the, in between the primary and secondary piping. So the topic for this video came from you guys. Uh, you guys make comments, uh, I respond to them, and when I get enough comments and I see that there's interest in something, um, I'm willing to show you guys how the insides of mechanical items work. So um, if you're interested in mechanical stuff, if you're interested in the channel, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see us do something, drop in the comments. There's always a possibility that we're able to make a video, especially based on something that you're interested in knowing about. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep making more content.